I will be doing a full database restore and recover. If I have also lost the control files, I need to restore the control files first. If I had control file auto backup on, it would have been very easy to restore control file backups from the auto backups. But here in this scenario, let us assume that I don't even have control file auto backups. But I do know which backup piece does contain the control file. It is this backup piece of 7th October which contains the control file backup. So I will be able to restore the control file backup from here and then continue with the database. Of course I have to start up no mount before I can restore the control file. How would I know where the control file ba backup is if I don't have auto backups? There are a couple of ways. One is I would keep logs of all my backup runs and from the logs I would identify them. The other way is I would have a catalog in another database and I would be able to query the catalog to identify where the backups are. But in this case I know this is my control file backup. Okay, so it is restored to two locations because my parameter file specifies that, that I need two control files. So these two are uh, mirror copies of each other but they are in two different locations. Now that I have the control file I can mount the database. This control file backup if you remember was taken on 7th October. Today is 12th October so I might have transactions which have occurred since 7th October. I might have archive logs I might have backups so I need to know whether there is anything after 7th October. If I were to do a list backup it doesn't show me anything after 7th October. Here also it doesn't show me anything. This is because the control file itself is of 7th October. It is not aware of any transactions, any archive logs, any backups created since that control file backup itself. So I can use a catalog command to make it aware of all subsequent backups and archive logs. So I just say catalog start with so now you can see that although earlier it only knew backups of up to 7th October and uh, uh, archive log of 7th October I can now identify archive logs of 12th October and backups of 12th October. So we have archive logs of 12th October and backups of 12th October also. So I will be able to re restore and recover up to the latest point in time. That is up to SCN 1432 3241. Earlier my last SC available SCN was much lower. It was only whatever SCN was in this archive log of 7th October. But now I have an archive log of 12th October. So I can continue up to here this point in time. So now that I know all the backups, I can start doing a restore. It restores the data files back to the original locations that are identified in the control file. So these are all the data files back to the original locations. And they are coming from the backup piece of 7th October. I will now pause the recording of this screen for a short while. Okay, I am now resuming recording. It has completed restore of all the data files from that backup piece of 7th October. And I, I have an option of doing a restore of archive logs or I can just do a recover database. If I do a recover database, it will automatically restore and apply the archive logs. So I don't have to manually restore and apply archive logs. Okay, so it has identified that some archive logs are already on disk. So it is able to apply the archive logs. 
if it needed to restore some archaeologists, it would have restored them as well. It has applied all the archaeologists. It stopped up to 649. It's asking for 650 and that's where it supposedly fails. But if you go back and look at the previous listing, the last known archaeologue was 649 in the backups. And the last catalog archive log was also 649. So there is no archive log 650. Therefore 650 would have been an online redo log. Unfortunately since we have lost the entire database we have also lost the online redo logs. So we will have to do an open reset logs of the database now. So when we do an open reset logs it recreates the online redo logs and synchronizes the data files and the control files as well. Oops, sorry, I need to do that from SQL Plus. So you can see my SCN now is 1432-3577. What is the last known SCN? 1432 So I have been able to apply some more transactions and if the, the restore and open reset logs would also have incremented the SCN. So I have all the database transactions that were as of up to sequence number 649 and I have gone ahead to a newer SCN. But my log sequence number is now reset to 1. It got reset to 1 because I did an open reset logs. But I have restored and recovered the entire database as of up to the last transaction in the last archive log sequence number 649.